here is the official Black Friday deals for gaming PC builds. I'm going to show you seven different gaming PC builds for seven different budgets and you're going to notice that most of them have an AMD graphics card and this is because they are the best in terms of price performance but if you want an Nvidia GPU you will have alternatives down below in the video description alongside these gaming PC builds and you will also have the black version of each PC build because most of them have RGB and if you don't like RGB which is totally understandable you will have more alternatives. That said, let's start. With the first one for 430 bucks, I'm going to show you an upgradable system. And remember, all of these PCs have to be brand new, so I'm not going to go over the used market. But if you're willing to buy a GPU from the used market, you can get a better gaming experience for right now. Anyway, this system has the Ryzen 5 56 sandwich G with integrated graphics. For the motherboard, I picked the ASRock B550M PG Riptide, 16 gigs of RAM at 3200MHz CL16 memory on dual channel, then one terabyte of M.2 SSD, which is going to be all that you're going to need and it's ultra fast for gaming. Then for the case, I picked the Montec 3 Mesh ATX Mid Tower case. This one has six pre installed fans. A front mesh panel, the airflow will be great. And then we have the Cooler Master G700 Watt 80 Plus Gold Power Supply for 60 bucks. Now, in the future, I recommend you pairing this with the RX 6650 XT or 6700 XT. And if you want an NVIDIA GPU, I recommend you pairing it with either the 3060 Ti or the 3070. Those are the limits, in my opinion. And you can, of course, go lower with something like the RX 6600 or the RTX 3060 in case you can't afford those GPUs right now. And for gaming right now, this system is not going to be the flashiest, but it is going to be able to achieve 60 plus FPS on average in games like GTA 5, Fortnite, and then you can achieve more than 144 FPS in games like CSGO or Valorant. So overall, it's a solid system for the price, keeping in mind that this is brand new and it's also upgradable down the line. Now, I know 700 watts might be an overkill, but at this price point, 60 bucks, it is honestly worth the buy. With the next system, we have a $550 gaming PC. This one has the Ryzen 5 5500, the same motherboard, same RAM, same storage and same case, but we have the RX 6600 for the GPU and a 450 watt 80 plus bronze certified power supply, which is going to be all that we are going to need for this type of PC. And you will get a much better performance than the last PC build, especially if you want to start gaming right now. If you're willing to wait because of your financial situation, then yes, the last one is going to be a better choice. But if you want the best performance, this one is definitely much better for around 120 extra dollars. You will be able to run every single game at 1080p depending on the settings. Then for the budget of $750, this one is actually a bit less, $730 by the time that I'm recording this video. We have the AMD Ryzen 5 5600, which is going to be an upgrade from the 5500. And then we have an RGB system with an RGB CPU cooler that is going to be great for this CPU. Then we have another motherboard, two gigs of RGB RAM this time. And then we have the RX 6650 XT instead of the 6600, which is going to perform much better. And it's a nice GPU for an entry level of 1440p. So if you want a 1440p monitor or you already have one, you will be able to take advantage of the monitor resolution with this GPU. And on top of that, you get that 700 watt 80 plus gold power supply. So this system is upgradable as well. And it's much more upgradable than the first one because you get the AMD Ryzen 5 5600, which is a better performer than the 5600G. So feel free to put a high end GPU on this system, except for the RTX 3090 and above. And this is a bonus mention, but if you have around 60 extra bucks for $816, you can get the RX 6700 instead of the 6650XC for some extra gaming performance. Performance. Then for the budget of a thousand bucks, actually for $986, we have the same exact components except for the GPU. We get the RX 6800 instead of the 6650 XT, meaning that it's going to be around a 40% 
faster in gaming performance and it's really similar to the RTX 3070 Ti in terms of gaming performance so yes you can do 4k gaming with this GPU or high refresh rate 1440p so if you want a system for esports titles at 1440p I think that this one is going to be the best choice for you and also if you have a budget of around a thousand bucks before continuing, I want to say that I'm not an AMD fanboy. They are just the better price to performance GPUs right now. Like I mentioned at the beginning, you will have Nvidia alternatives. And there are a couple reasons why you may want to go with Nvidia, such as their video encoder, ray tracing performance, DLSS. You may have your reasons and I totally understand that. That's why I put both options in the video description. For 1200 bucks, we changed a couple of things here. The first thing being the motherboard, we have the Gigabyte B550 Aorus Elite B2. This one has more features for gaming than the last one, and it's going to work great with, let's say, the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D as well, in case you want to update the CPU down the line. Then we have the same memory kit, same storage, same CPU and CPU cooler, but we changed the graphics card to the RX 6800 XT version, which is 13% faster in gaming than the 6800 non-XT version. So you will be getting a better 1440p and 4K gaming experience. And here I also changed the case and the power supply. I picked the deep cool CG560 ATX case. This one has great airflow as well, great ventilation, and it's only 70 bucks with four pre-installed fans, and it's bigger for that 6800 XT, so the case swap was needed. And then for the power supply, I picked the Thermaltake 12 Power GF1 850W 80 plus volt power supply. Once again, this might be an overkill, but it's only 80 bucks and it's A tier rated, meaning that the quality of this power supply is going to be amazing, even for future upgrades like the CPU. So if you're looking for higher frame rates than the last one and also a more upgradable gaming system, this one is a much better option for around 200 extra packs. Then for the budget of $1,500, we have a system with the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, which is much better for gaming than the 5800X. And you can switch this with the i5 13600K if you want or the Ryzen 5 7600X. That is completely up to you. The reality is that every CPU is going to be fast enough for the GPU, which is what you're looking for on a gaming system. Then for the CPU cooler, I picked the Thermal Ride Peerless Assassin. This one will be enough for this Ryzen 7, but feel free to go with an AIO liquid cooler if you feel like it. It's just not going to be necessary. For the motherboard, I went with the same Gigabyte B550 Aros Elite V2, the same RAM kit, same storage, but then we have the RX 6900 XT, which is going to be much better than the 6800 XT from the last system. And I do recommend you going with this PC if you're going to do 4K gaming or 1440p super high refresh rate. But if you're not a serious gamer, then I think the last one will be more than enough. However, if you have 1500 bucks and you want to max it out, then the 6900 XT and the Ryzen 7 5800 X 3D is going to be your best option in my opinion. For the case, I changed it to the Fantex Eclipse G360A ATX case, but you can also go with the last one if you like the look or if you want to save up some money. The power supply will be the same 850 watt 80 plus color power supply from Thermaltake. And then for the budget of 1800 bucks, we have the i5 13600K instead of the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. And then we have 32 gigs of RAM, 2x16 of DDR4 at 3600 megahertz CL16 memory. So it's going to be ultra fast and it's more RAM as well. So it's going to be better than the last system. And then for storage, I picked the Silicon Power X S72 terabytes of Gen 4 SSD alongside the RX 6950XT instead of the 69XT. This GPU right now it's 829 bucks and if you have 1800 dollars then don't wait and buy it now but if you have a budget of around 2000 dollars I do recommend you waiting a bit longer for the 7900 XTX they seem to be really good and if you can buy it at its MSRP I think that it's going to be the smartest choice that you can make however if you want a PC right now at this price point 
I think that this system is going to be the best option. And this is more of an all around system for content creation, gaming, streaming. Basically, it can do it all. However, if you're really into content creation, then you want to go with an NVIDIA GPU like the RTX 3080 or 3070 Ti. Those are not going to be as powerful as the 6950 XT in terms of gaming performance, but they're going to deliver a much better content creation performance. But all of these systems are gaming orientated, except for the last one where you can do more than gaming. However, you can do more than gaming with every system basically from $800 and above. But if your main priority is content creation, let's say, then you want to prioritize the CPU instead of the GPU. And on this video, we prioritize the GPU instead of the CPU because we are talking about gaming. And don't worry if you have a higher budget or your usage is different. Let's say you want to do content creation first gaming second or content creation first streaming second gaming third then let me know in the comment section and i will help you out without any issues and if you got value out of this video leave a like and subscribe but most importantly hit that bell button so you get notified when i upload my next video which is going to be tomorrow for the private pcs version of the black friday so if you want to hear the best deals on private pcs i highly recommend you clicking that bell button thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and i will see you on the next one